In this section, 8.5, we're going to be solving rational equations. There's a few parts to solving rational equations. We need to list what's going to make the equation undefined. We need to solve for x and also check to make our, sure our solutions work. So first things first, what makes this undefined? I'm going to look at my denominators just like I used to do with my domain. And here I know that x cannot equal 6 and x cannot equal four, because if I plug those in, I'm going to be dividing by zero, and that's not allowed. The next step is cross multiplying. So I'm going to cross multiply the x times the x minus four and the one times the x minus six. What I end up with is x times x minus four equals one times x minus six. Let's go ahead and distribute. So you get x squared minus four x equals x minus six. Let's set it equal to zero and solve. So I have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals zero. Well, what do I do when I have a quadratic equation set equal to zero? I can factor and solve. So let's do that. I have x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals zero. Negative 2 times negative 3 gives me positive 6. Negative th 2 plus negative 3 gives me negative 5. So x equals 2, and x equals 3. Now let's quick check that, John Baylor style. If I plug in 2, I'm going to have 2 over 2 minus 6, which is negative 4, equals 1 over 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. Well, we know that this simplifies to negative 1 half, so we're all good. Let's check the 3. See if that works. If I plug in 3, I have 3 over 3 minus 6, which is negative 3, equals 1 over 3 minus 4, which is negative 1. 3 over negative 3 simplifies to negative 1, so I know that both of these solutions work. A plus.